You're gonna actually let the bike out live then? So in our adventures, Lane and I many, many times have talked about getting ourselves bikes because we could have used them in so many situations or so many locations, especially Colorado, where bike riding is just second nature to so many people out there. But there's great places to ride bikes around here as well. So we still went ahead and got us some bikes. Now we probably would have went with something a little bit different in the RV because they have folding bikes as well. But since we're no longer in the RV, we decided, you know what, let's just get what we would use around here. So today I'm going to be going through the unboxing of both of our bikes. So Lane got one and I got one as well. What I got was the Rad Rover. This is a fat tire bike. This is like your mountain bike of electric bikes. And what Lane got, Lane got the Rad Runner Plus. The Rad Runner Plus has an extra seat on the back of it. So if we have one of our younger kids, because let's face it, whenever parents who have multiple kids that are still little, whenever you take them bike riding, there's a really good chance that your one of your littlest kids is gonna get tired out pretty quickly and you may not be done riding your bike. Well, the Rad Runner Plus that Lane has, has an extra seat on the back just for that one, or maybe two kids, if we can squeeze them on, that would get tired in a bike ride so that we can continue our ride. So yeah, you're gonna to get to see two unboxings today. You're gonna to get to see the Rad Runner Plus and the Rad Rover. Let's begin. Now I do wanna let you know, Rad Rover is sponsoring this video. They're the ones who reached out to us and offered us these bikes for us to review and to try out. I also want you to know that our opinion on these bikes will be totally unbiased. Just because Rad Power gave us these bikes doesn't mean that I'm going to tell you all the wonderful, sweet, nice things about the bike. I'm going to be honest with you guys and give you my full honest review on whether or not these bikes will work for us and what the things that we do and we do not like about them. So it will be honest, just so you know. So one of the things that I'm noticing already that I really like about it is you can go online to watch video tutorials on how to set up the bike and how to ride a rad. Because let's face it, nobody really reads instructions anymore. We would rather go to YouTube to watch how to put it together. Look who just pulled up. I'm trying to film here and you just interrupted me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna take me on bait? <laughs> you wanna go I for just, a bike ride? Yeah, I just got apples to make real apple cider. Hey. For a picnic. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Mm. Love them big old fat tires. Even though as of right now we live in the city, at some point we're gonna end out in the country again. And these bikes are gonna be used on dirt, roads, on just ground. So that's why we went with a fat tire instead of your normal street tire. I've always been intrigued by the fat bike, fat tire bicycle, so I'm really intrigued to see how it performs. So your timing is perfect. You're going to help me. You're gonna actually gonna lift the bike out while I film. Just easy. <laughs> I'm gonna lift the bike up while you pull the box off. Okay. Because I think it's gonna be a little tight getting it out. Okay, just lift. I'm gonna lift. Where do you need me? I guess I do. Do you? Yeah, really good. Okay. I thought it was gonna be in there a little bit tighter. And a little more complicated, but it's that not. Looks like something. Cool. I like the color of that. Yeah, so I went with, of course you'll see it a little bit more later, but I would call this like an army green powder coated because I plan on maybe using these for getting back in the woods to go and hunting. I just, you know, feel a little bit more camouflage ish. Flage -ish. That's a word. It is, if you say it is. I say it is. All right, thank you for your help. So, Rad does a great job at making sure your bike is shipped safely and well protected. So I've got to go through here and cut off about 50 zip ties. So I'll put the camera down. You guys don't really care about seeing that.
This video will show you how to assemble the Rad Rover 5. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to play this whole video. Go watch it yourself. You'll see how to put this bike together. I'm going to show you guys probably a time lapse or it may stop here and there to show you what I'm doing once it's put together. But again, I got two bikes to do, mine and Lane's. So I'm going to show you guys what it kind of what it looks like as I'm doing the process. But my main focus is the completed project. So one of the things that I already love about this assembly is the fact that they give you every tool necessary. That's nice because a lot of people may not have an abundance of tools at home. So it's just already very impressive that they just include those items. Okay, so this is probably where having somebody with you would be helpful. Because I'm trying to figure out, there we go. All right, got that. Okay, so another instance where it's really handy if you've got somebody here with you to help you is when you're tight tightening uh, the tire onto the front forks is that you're supposed to keep the bike center which i have right now but i'm using my legs to hold it center and then i'm using both hands on each side to tighten so that's definitely one area where you could use somebody's help So I'm gonna take a quick little break and just let you guys know a couple of the things that I'm noticing that it was not included and that I also did not have was grease to put the pedals on. Uh, the other thing that they've been talking about and the first time I've ever even heard of it is called a Newton meter. I've never even heard of that it's like torque, but I have never heard of Newton meter so I do not have one of those Newton meter uh, torque wrenches. It would have been nice to have that or at least know about it. it would have been nice to know about the grease so i'm i'm just gonna have to do what i can do and not worry about torquing it down and just go with a little bit of common sense and torque it down to where i feel like it's good enough uh, the other thing was a pedal wrench uh, i don't have a pedal wrench um, you would have thought that one of these wrenches would work and that's what i'm going to use in the video it says a pedal wrench and it looks completely different what they are using than what i have or what was included in the toolkit so, just letting you know. All right, so I've got it all put together. I believe they send the batteries charged. Now I will say that we have had this for several weeks. We've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance to actually put it together. So I am gonna charge it. And while that's charging, then I'll be putting Lane's bike together. All right, I've got this one charging. So I don't know what the time charge is. Um, I'll have to look up on that and see. I would guess probably two to four hours would be my guess, but uh, well, it says right here, never charge your battery more than 12 hours. So I'm sure it's telling me in here somewhere. Let me look that up. Hang on. Okay, I see it. Uh, charging your battery normally takes three to seven hours. So I will say uh, I had no problems at all with it. It's, it is not complicated at all. You know, if you weren't watching the video, and I think the video was... The video was a total of 10 minutes. So, you know, if a guy got this together and he knew what he was doing really quickly, he could probably have this thing slapped together, I would say, in probably 15 minutes or less. By the time you're watching the video, making sure you got everything done properly for a newbie like myself probably took 30 to 45 minutes. And I was also filming during that process too. So not complicated. Let's get on to Lane's. So again, Lane has the Rad Rider Plus. And I don't know if you can tell it yet, but it's got a great big seat here on the back. 
Now, let's see if I can do this without Lane's help. She didn't really need to help me on the last one. And... All right, she didn't need to help me on that one either. Not, not difficult to get out by yourself, unless you're just aware. Okay, here we go. Well, what do I do? <laughs> well, oh, so it's already on. Okay. All right, so what you do is push and hold the mode button. Is it gonna go? No, okay. just push and hold, it turns it on. See, came on, okay. your headlight came on. This right here, this is what makes you go. So when you twist it, kind of like a motorcycle. Okay. When you twist <laughs> this, it's gonna make you go, okay? Well, okay, and this is gonna make me stop? Yep, that's your brakes. But if I just want to pedal, I just. If you just want to pedal, you just pedal. Uh, Maybe get like a red. Oh, it's got lights too. Yours' bikes are so awesome. <gasps> oh, I felt it. It's me doing stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to this. Oh, I'm a little scared. If I love it, I'll probably just take a little trip. So I don't need a pedal when I do this. Just push. Just wow. twist that back. Here she comes. Well, I can just try mom. Wow. I thought I'd try it in the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in the grass. That's fun. <laughs> what? That's cool. I like it. I'm going to go... Uh, hey, Dad, do you think I could go get shoes on and maybe me try? Yeah, you try. Okay. So what do you think? I think I'm ready. Let's do this that's thing. That's pretty cool. I think I'm now a biker. I mean, golly, so what do you, so what do you like about yours? Well, I mean, I don't, that's a hard thing. Okay, okay, so what I think is great for, for ladies is just this step through. So you don't have to like throw your leg over. Oh yeah, I so wore like, a dress that whole yeah. time. So like with you with a dress, you just step through. Sorry, you can hear our kids in the background. You just <laughs> step through and it's really simple. Sure. Oh, just, oh, boom. Just like that. What I like is that I'm going to, like, if we're being real talk, I can put a baby back here. I have a basket coming. I can yeah. exercise if I want, but if I'm struggling, I can use the, the thing. And I love the tires, man. I feel like we can not be city biking, but, like, go places that we love. Right, right. And having, having an LED headlight, yeah. I think, is great. Also, having... Uh, so you have even a brake light, so whenever you hit your brakes, hit them. Oh, I forgot. Yep. See, they flash up. Cool. So that's very nice. We need to adjust your seat a little bit. It's kind of twisted. But very cool. Very cool. All right, so we've got Lane's bike out and my bike out, and this is what the finished product looks like. I'm going to give you guys a few specs. Uh, we're going to start with Lane's bike. I'm just going to read this to you. So it is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium ion battery. It holds 300 pounds. It has up to a 45 plus mile charge. Of course, that is gonna depend upon weight and some other factors. Uh, for example, if you're climbing a lot of hills versus being on flat ground. Top speed, I'm not seeing that anywhere on here, but again, whenever I was riding it just for a second a while ago, I did get it up to 18 miles per hour. I'm sure that could go faster. And again, Lane's is called the Rad Runner Plus. Now mine is called the Rad Rover. And the color I have is called Force Green. It is a limited edition. Now this bike, has the exact same battery. It is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium ion battery. Right, now the weight limit on is at a little bit less. It's a 275 pound weight limit. Miles per charge is the same at 45 plus or minus depending upon weight and your terrain. Now what I think about these bikes are really cool is the fact that you do have headlights. So if you're ever running at night, that's great. Also, you have your brake lights, which I really like. Um, and you just have 
You can select your gears if you want. Uh, it goes all the way up to a speed seven. It's hard to see, but it is there. Uh, you can adjust that. You can crank that up here and you can lower it there. Also, let's check this out. Oh, isn't that nice? Ding, ding. Ice cream man's here. All right, so this is our uh, box opening of the Rad Power Bikes. So we're gonna take these off-roading here really soon. I'm gonna get them fully charged and we're gonna go up to a really cool spot here in the Ozarks that I think would just be a great place to ride these bikes. And we're gonna take you guys along with us and also give you a full review of what we think about them once they are put to the test, so to speak. So stay tuned. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.